Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm tying up a slight variation of the ever classic Chubby Chernobyl. This variation is tied using Ludwig's Double Decker Foam from Upaven, which is a pre-made double decker foam. To get started in the vise, I'm using an A-Rex Freshwater 570, which is a dry fly or a long dry fly hook. This is a size 8. For the thread, I'm using 140 denier UTC in light olive. I'll go ahead and get started with my thread pretty much right behind the hook eye. If you leave a little bit of a gap, it'll make finishing the fly a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get, take my thread pretty much all the way back to the hook bend and snip off my tag. And then I'm going to go ahead and flatten out my thread and create a little bit of a base. And this is really just going to help my foam to stay in the position that I want it to stay in. This is a, a, a key tip or trick to tying with foam. It'll really help alleviate some headache. So the foam again is Ludwig's Double Decker Foam. Here I'm using green lime. And I've used a River Roads cutter in the Chernobyl tapered style to cut out a couple of these pieces pre-cut. Here is that cutter if you've never seen them or used them before. They're really nice. Uh, a lot of fly shops will sell them online or in person. So this specific pattern uh, or variation I'm tying with the green down. I want to use this uh, darker colored green to look more like a hopper. The nice thing about this double decker foam is you can tie it either way. So if you want a lighter underbody and a darker top, you can do that. But here on this specific one, uh, I'm using the green face down. For the yarn or the wing, I'm using ultra dry yarn in white from Fulling Mill. This is a pre-treated poly yarn uh, that floats for days. For this size fly, I'm using two strands. Uh, one thing that I initially didn't like about this material at first, but I've come to actually like, is it is thinner. So if you're tying smaller flies, you don't have to break it apart like other foam that is thicker. Um, and then on flies like this, all you have to do is just use a second strand. And like I said, that's actually something that I've come to really like about this material is it's a little bit easier to tie with uh, once you kind of get over that uh, difference in other materials. So again, I'm going to tie in two strands on this back section. I'm going to take two or three wraps. I'm going to use my scissors to fold or double this over. And then I'm going to tie down that little double over that I made. And you'll have a little bit of a bump here, but truthfully, it doesn't really matter because this is going to be the top of the fly. And I'm going to cover it up with some tactical micro flash dub in golden olive from Fulling Mill. And before adding that dubbing, I'm going to go ahead and grab my legs, which here is round rubber leg in medium chartreuse. Uh, this is just my color of choice here on this one. Use obviously whatever you have or whatever you like. And what I've done here is I've actually barred these with a Sharpie uh, ahead of time. Uh, you can buy these pre-barred, but uh, I like having a, a solid color so that way I can bar them or leave them unbarred. So I'm going to go ahead and tie in a little bit, leaving a loop in the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, tactical micro flash again from Fulling Mill. And again, the color here is golden olive. Obviously, please use whatever you have or uh, prefer. So I'm going to add a little bit, about a two inch dubbing noodle. And the purpose here one is to cover up that little bump that I made, but also to help splay those legs out so they're not facing uh, out at 90 degree angles. So I'm going to bring my thread to right behind the hook eye, fold my th foam over, and give it two or three wraps to secure it. Again, I'm going to take my wing material, which here is more ultra dry yarn, give it two or three wraps, fold that foam over my scissor tips again, and measure and snip. I want these wings to be about the length of the body, a little bit longer, probably as preferred. Again, I'm going to go ahead and grab a strand of legs, double it over 
and tie it in on top and then I'm going to position these legs where I want them. You can see it's kind of rolled. That's why I like doing it this way is because you can easily reposition them if needed. Again, I'm going to grab my dubbing here, add another two or so inch dubbing noodle, and then going to go ahead and sweep everything back and bring my thread in front of the foam. I'm then going to grab my whip finish tool and whip finish and snip my thread. And since I'm using nothing but really thread on this specific pattern, I'm going to go ahead and add some Solaris Bone Dry to one, the whip finish, but also the thread wraps on the bottom just to add a little bit of durability. Obviously not crucial here, but definitely add some durability. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and snip these loops that I've left in here to release those legs. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim these legs to length if needed. I'm also going to go ahead and snip the foam at the front, kind of taper it off, make it look a little bit more rounded. Then I'm going to come in with my extra long blades, scissors from Renamed, and cut these at about the same length. But there you have it, the ever classic Chubby Chernobyl tied using Ludwig's Double Decker Foam. Brush that wing out, make it look nice, make it look extra buggy. And tie them up, fish them, let me know what you think. Thanks for checking in.